Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode from the Hermitcraft server. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I am having a fantastic day, and today we are going to be making a super smelter. Now, we had a super smelter that we built earlier in the season that I had to tear down uh, to make room for our mob farm. This is the same super smelter. The only difference is it has two sides instead of just one. Other than that, it is identical, so this will smelt uh, 16 items at a time, and that should be plenty fast. Uh, I don't think I really have any need to make a smelter faster than that. Now, I've already done all the technical portions of it, at least for the most part. There's one more little bit that I'll have to do, uh, but that's uh, that I'm going to do on camera because I didn't show it when we built it earlier. If you want to learn how to build this, I can also, uh, I'll also link the tutorial in the description. I did this as a 15 minute build a while back. It's also identical to the one in my single player world, uh, Kingdoms. So, yeah, not going to focus too much on the technical portions of the Super Smelter today, but obviously we can't just have this big ugly thing just sitting here in our castle. Like, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. We need to make this thing look good, obviously. So that is what we're going to do today. We're going to focus on building the structure around said Super Smelter. Uh, and... Yeah, that's, that's pretty much the plan. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm thinking what I want to do, I have kind of an idea that this would be like a forge uh, within the castle town. So I think we're going to do a couple different things. Do I have... Where, oh, where is my... Aha, ender chest. That's what I was looking for. I need... This andesite right there. And I thought I had some... Oh, it's probably in this shulker box. I have way too many shulker boxes. <laughs> it's, it's getting a little ridiculous. Okay, so here's the plan, right? Let's just make a little bit of polished andesite. We are going to design this room in such a way that the walls on the inside will be stone. And they kind of have to be, because a forge, you wouldn't want to make it out of wood, right? Otherwise, it would light on fire. And brick isn't really an option, because, let's be honest, brick in Minecraft? Kinda ugly. It's a horrible, ugly texture. Uh, and mostly it's the color that causes the problem with brick. It just clashes with, like, everything. Um, so let's try... A little something like that over here. That seems okay. Maybe we'll do the same there. And then we'll bring that across, like so. Mm, I'm thinking no to that top part. Let's just clear all that out. Now, some of this stuff is going to end up in furnaces as we build this, but... Uh, we'll take all the stuff out when we're done, so it won't be that big of a deal. Um, okay, let's maybe... Oh, that's not the right block. That's the right block. There we go. And I thought, aha, there it is. Let's build that up as well. So we've got kind of like these little pillars here, right? Then I'm thinking uh, we're, we're going to use a lot of cobble in this. Uh, let's make some cobblestone stairs. And we'll do... So, oh, is that right? No. No, it's not. Uh, and come back, you. And you. We want to make sure we cover up these hoppers. Because I, when I do technical builds, I don't like to have the technical portions of the build showing. I like that to be invisible, if possible. Uh, and this should do the trick for us, I think. I think that'll work. Should be good. Oh. No, no, no. This is right. This will end up getting scooted back? Hmm. I'll look at that in a minute. Uh, it is time to sleep. Why... Why is it always nap time? Let's just go make ourselves a bed. I think I have one lying around somewhere, but I'm not entirely sure where I left it, so I'm just going to make a new one. Or maybe I set it down somewhere. I don't remember. It's okay, though. Let's just make ourselves a new bed real quick. We will use... Uh... Magenta wool, because it's not going to get used for anything else. It's just such an ugly color. 
There we go. Do, do, do. And... Bed. Beautiful. Let's sleep real quick. So yeah, things are going really well on the castle project. I am actually backlogging a little bit. I'm going to be leaving on a trip. Um... So there may be, I, I, I don't know, it's going to depend on how many videos I get recorded over the next day or two, uh, the next couple days, uh, but I'm going to be going on a trip up to Wisconsin. I have some military stuff I need to go deal with. We're, we got a, a super exciting legal conference to go to, which is exactly as exciting as it sounds. It's like a convention for uh, legal personnel in the military, which is which is what I am. I'm a, I'm a paralegal and court reporter. Um, it's always a good time, though, but it's not amazingly exciting. It, it'll be cool to kind of see some of the people who I haven't seen in a long time, though. Uh, anyway, so I'm thinking we've got our cobblestone here. I want the floors in here to be primarily coarse dirt, I think. I think that would make the most sense, right? So let's grab a bit of coarse dirt out of here. And then I'm also going to use a little bit of jungle wood just to kind of mix up the textures a little bit. Uh, oh, also, I need to get underneath these chests. We don't want that grass showing there. Oh, that's a stair. Try again. There we go. So we're just going to make the floor in here coarse dirt because, once again, the idea is that this would be basically like a forge. Uh, or something along those lines, and you wouldn't want to have a ton of wood. Now, we're going to use a little wood in the floors for the jungle wood, because it kind of has to be done. Uh, otherwise, we're just going to have a very dull and boring floor. But that's an exception, not uh, the norm, shall we say. Just a, We're just going to mix in a little bit of jungle wood, not a whole lot. Uh, we could also potentially mix in some regular dirt as well if we do it in places where it wouldn't be bordering any grass. Uh, do I have... Yeah, here we go. I've actually got a little bit of regular dirt. So let's maybe just find... That's grass right there, so that's not a good place to put it. Uh, slab. Let's see. Maybe we go here here and here and we just mix in a little bit of regular dirt like that it's a very subtle very very subtle mixture like you can barely tell the difference but it is there and I think it adds just a little bit so that'll work that'll kind of be our floor section now uh, we need to deal with the walls here and I don't know I'm kind of I hate to do this I mean ultimately this all needs to go away anyway but let's tear all this out and then let's also tear these out I think I'm going to recess this just a little bit maybe hmm let's get rid I want my lever back please thank you and then we'll do the same over here. And we may have to do something with this as well. We'll have to see. We'll figure it out as we go. Um, that part's easy to replace, though. So let's do that. Let's go a... Where did I... Did I literally... I swear, I just had a bunch of polished andesite. Uh, no, that's stone. I don't know. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> That's all right. It's fine. Uh, so then we'll go here, here. We'll go one, two, there. One, two, and there. Okay? So that's kind of our little structure type thing there. And then I think we'll do the same right here and right there. So we've got kind of a little bit of like a, a thing going, right? Now, over here, this is where we want the mine carts to be. And actually, I don't need to, I, I didn't need to tear all that down. I just needed to scoot that one little bit back, didn't I? Yeah, okay. So we're gonna put a powered rail, powered rail, powered rail, powered rail, like a so. We'll go you, 
like that. Basically, we want all of the all of the parts to be powered rails that can be, right? Um there and then over here and one there and then a regular rail here. And so the, basically we need these four to be powered rails that aren't powered all the time, but then the rest of these we can have powered constantly. And we basically want every rail except for corners uh, to be powered, right? So there we go. That should work. Is there a hopper attached to this? No. Okay, so that's not powering anything. Good, good, good. Uh, don't want that. Uh, I don't want, you want to, when you put in the levers, you obviously want to make sure you're not accidentally locking any hoppers or something, because that would uh, kind of break the whole thing, wouldn't it? Okay, so now we're going to do a little bit of a technical portion. There's going to be a lever right here, and maybe, maybe we tear that out, and instead we put a stone brick right there, like so, or a stone block. That could work. And then we need, let's see, a repeater, a little bit of redstone dust, and then a couple of slabs. And we'll see if I can remember how to do this. So what we want is basically when this lever on the other side of this block is flipped, we want to make sure that it powers all four of these rails, okay? So what we're going to do is we'll put a slab, a slab, like so, right? Because we also want to make sure that the input coming out of here doesn't power these and that it can go both up and down, right? And then we'll go redstone, 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 and redstone, redstone. Okay, so now when I flip this lever, oh, it's not going down there. I thought it would. I thought it would go four ways. Why is it not powering these? Unless it needs to go, I mean, I suppose, no, something's not why are these not getting powered? These ones should be. We've got a repeater coming out of the block, right? Unless we do... Hmm. What if we do that? No, that's not working either. That's not powering any of them. So yeah, this definitely needs to be... A repeater. Maybe we make this a full block instead? Here? Okay, now it's powering. Good. Aha! There we go. So this has to be a full block. Okay. One too many slabs. I'm still, as you can see, my redstone knowledge is not amazing. Uh, but I got it all figured out. So we flip that lever and it will turn all of these little bits on. Now, we don't want any grass to be visible, and a tiny amount of this is going to be visible. Uh, we're mostly going to have walls around it to cover all of this stuff up, but some of it you're, you're going to kind of catch glimpses of from time to time when you're, like, you know, in here. <laughs> because we're going to have uh, minecarts, chest minecarts, on top of each of these, so you're going to see that little bit back here, and it's, it's kind of unavoidable. There's not a whole lot you can do about it, uh, but that's okay. All right, so that's, that part is good. Um, now, we need to figure out what we're going to do up here for a ceiling. And I'm thinking I'm going to put cobblestone like that. And then do we want to just go up here maybe with cobblestone? Right? Possibly. That might be an option. Or, I mean, the other option, too, would be you could do stairs again. Which wouldn't necessarily look bad. Uh, go away, you. 
Actually, let's just climb up there. It's probably a little bit easier. There we go. I'll take this stuff back. Or maybe we switch to a different material. Maybe instead of using cobblestone, uh, we use stone brick. Or maybe we vary between the two. That might be the best solution, come to think of it. Let's make a little bit of stone brick stairs. And we'll just kind of come in here and find a couple, like, semi-random spots to do stone brick instead. Maybe here, right? Something along those lines. And then over here, we'll do something kind of similar. Just kind of mixing, mixing those textures up. Yeah, I definitely think that looks better. Here, maybe we mix that one up too. Yep, that's a definite improvement. I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm not really liking the fact that you can't see the polished andesite anymore, though. If I add bricks, like up here, it's just, it's not going to be visible. You know what I mean? Um, so... Hmm. Maybe we do this. Maybe we bring this up one higher. That'll give us a nice tall ceiling in here, which wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. We'll do a combination of... the brick and the cobble, like that. Up at this top level. I think that could look really good. Mm-hmm. And then that brings it all up to a relatively nice high point, like so. At which point we could go... Uh, let's make a few more of those, and then a couple of these. And we can maybe go... something like that, right? With some slabs. Up there. And then up here can be our actual, like, top portion of the roof, which also is probably going to have to be uh, stone of, of some sort. Um, do, 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 and this is the bottom of half of a block, so maybe we use, like, andesite and smooth stone for this? Oh, I'm stuck on things. There we go. There we go. Okay. So that seems pretty good. Then we can come up here. Ooh, I've got Instamine. <laughs> Didn't realize that. That's okay. I'll just have to be a little bit more careful. Uh, here. There. And here. Sure. It'll do. So the, the ceiling will appear to be a bit smoother than the walls, which uh, which kind of makes sense in a way. Uh, but this will be, this will work. This will do. Okay, so now what I need to do is I got to come back. Uh, let's do... Oh. Let's do a jungle slab and a couple of coarse dirt like so, and then this is going to be our entranceway right here. Okay. So I think that will work, and we'll go, uh, not stone brick. Let's maybe go cobble. Yeah, let's go cobble. Like that. And then right here. Um, I'll just put a course dirt. Sure. Good enough. Okay. Oh, and these... We're going to swap those out as well for maybe a stone brick 
and then two cobble like so. I think that'll work. And then maybe we also add a little bit of detail like that. Maybe we tear that down and make that into a smooth stone just to add, you know, a little bit. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Um, let me grab a torch as well. There we go. I was going to say, I know I've got some more torches. Let's just put a couple torches in here temporarily for lighting. Uh, actually, we can we can be a little bit more permanent. Let's just do something like this. We'll get rid of those two. And then I don't think those are going to reach the center. So we'll have to figure something out here. I'm thinking I'll probably go like, um, probably like brown wool and hide some lighting underneath it. I think that makes the most sense. Okay, cool. So now what I need to do is work on building the structure around this whole thing. Uh, let's scoot our crafting table and this shulker box back a little bit like so. Come back, you. And the question is, do we want to build it out of stone or do we want to build it out of wood? Because partly, I, I kind of want to build the outer portion out of wood. And I think we can get away with that. I think. Then the inside is stone. But the outer portion would be made of wood. I think... I mean, I don't know how realistic that would be. <laughs> In fact, that probably wouldn't be very realistic at all. But on the flip side, I think it would be okay. Uh, this would be one of those like sacrifice uh, realism in the name of aesthetics sort of things. So let me get some materials together. Let me do some experimentation and see what I can come up with. And then I'll be back with you. All right, guys, I am back, and I think it's done. I went with kind of like this rounded uh, sort of hut. Um, I like it. I think it turned out pretty well. We've got uh, some logs on kind of the corners here, and then stairs to make it look kind of like, um, kind of think like a log cabin that sort of like, um, where they where they overlay log and log... It's hard. I don't know what the proper terminology is, but kind of like siding, I guess. Sort of like log cabin siding, I guess, is kind of the uh, what you would describe it as in modern terms. But uh, but when was something like that put kind of this this dome like uh, roof on it? Let's get a look up from up above. There we go. You can see it all kind of rounds up nicely, comes to a center point right here. And yes, this building is pretty large. Uh, compared to the rest of the city, but that's okay. This is actually going to be one of the larger buildings in this area. Um, simply because the the redstone stuff takes up uh, a lot more space than you might think. Um, if I want to build a structure around it and make it look good, which I did. Um, but I think I'm happy with it. And, it. and it turned out pretty well. The blend into the cobble on the inside actually worked out pretty well. I added the brown carpets with some lighting underneath. Uh, so I think... Really, all we need to do is fire it up and make sure that it actually works. <laughs> it should. Uh, it should. Let's grab... We'll let, we'll let a cactus be the first test subject. And we definitely want to grab some fuel as well. Uh, but this is going to be used for all sorts of big, giant smelting jobs and, and things like that, right? Stuff that... Well, and honestly, I'll use it for, for other things too, but... Um, Little single item smelting jobs, not so much, but whenever I need like new food or, uh, you know, stuff like that. I mean, I've got tons, tons and tons and tons of food that just isn't cooked right now. Tons of fish, for example. Um, and this will help me cook up a, a bunch of that stuff whenever I need it. So I think this will work really well. Let's grab, oh, I'm out of, am I completely out of elytra rockets? I am. That's all right. I'll make more after the episode is over. Not a big deal. I don't really need to fly. It's just a little bit more convenient. But I do have the cactus. I do have the fuel. I want to build up a little bit of a backlog of fuel in the hoppers. Um, so ultimately, we can have six stacks of coal in reserve for every hopper. Um, although I don't think that's really necessary. So down here, 
we'll put our uh, coal, like so, up here. We'll put our cactus, like so. And then let's just quick, oop, see? <laughs> I was gonna say, let's just check all of these furnaces and make sure there's nothing in them. I don't think there will be uh, in most of them, but uh, you can see a couple of them did have like some cobble or spruce or whatever. Okay, there we go. So then we pull the lever. They all light up. Give it a minute to make sure that it can all smelt. And it should be even, right? All of them should have, well, now three cactus. But yeah, that appears to be working. That appears to be working, and it appears to be working quite well. And then when we want to turn it off, we can just do that. These powered rails will turn off, so they'll stop the minecarts right here, and we can reload them with more stuff. You can see the bottom ones, though, have a lot of coal yet to distribute, but it'll distribute everything evenly, and it should be good to go. So, guys, I think that is going to do it for this episode uh, as far as this project goes. Now, however, I do want to discuss one other thing. A lot of you guys didn't really care for these roads. Uh, and you said it's, it, it's too bright. It, uh, it doesn't make sense. It looks whatever. Um, it clashes. I, I think part of it is that it really clashes with the grass and the dark, uh, the dark oak forest biome. Um, but I ask that you give it some time. Have a little faith. <laughs> have a little faith. I have a vision, and these roads will work perfectly for that. Also, keep in mind that this pattern right here, this is only going to be the main roads. As it splits off into other areas, less traveled roads, for example, uh, then we'll use different road combinations. Like, for example, there's going to be a road that kind of runs back here behind the smelter a little bit, uh, and maybe we'll have like a little, I don't know, something back here of some sort. And this road wouldn't be as traveled, so we'll probably make this one out of coarse dirt uh, and jungle wood, for example, uh, like we did with our floor in here. So just have a little faith. It'll be okay. It's all going to work out. Um, just it, It'll be fine. I'm really happy with the road, and I think it's going to fit very well with my vision for this area, because I definitely do have a vision, and I think it will be amazing, but we have a lot of work left to do. I am out of time for this episode, though, my friends, so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.